Hello friends, welcome back. So today we're going to discuss a dynamic adapter service in web methods. Okay. So very first uh, we understand the concept of a dynamic SQL in web methods. Okay. So dynamic SQL here the query is not fixed, rather it changes dynamically. Okay. You can pass entire SQL statement or part of a statement at a runtime. And the basic difference between the custom SQL and dynamic SQL is in custom SQL we can give the input values at a design time and in dynamic SQL we can give the input values at a runtime. Okay, so uh, very first we need to uh, like get into the management studio here. Uh, SA is my user, book is my database, and this book is my table. Okay. And here uh, our statement uh, like SQL uh, like SQL statement is select star from book where price greater than 100. And uh, here you can see the book ID, author, title, price, publish date and description. Okay. Now the third uh, point is that very first we need to create one adapter service. So adapter this package, this folder, then connection. So here right click on connection then new then adapter service okay here you can give the user defined name as a dynamic adapter service one okay then click uh, up, uh, click on next after that you can see your adapter type uh, adapter type for JDBC entire X adapter and Apache Kafka so prerequisite is that we need to check very first the connectivity adapter connection connectivity so let me show you the connectivity here click on web method adapter for jdbc here you can see two connections are there and it's a activate like enable connection and let me show you the uh, connection details here this is a sql server database source data source and one four double three this is a port number so you can identify this is a sql server related connection okay and it's up and running no problem so we are uh, like selecting this connection web method adapter for jdbc adapter type here we uh, like selecting this connection adapter connection click on next after that they are uh, the, here uh, so many templates are there like custom sql then select then update so many more then select the dynamic sql and click on finish okay so the main task here is we like we passing this sql statement here so copy and paste it here okay after that this is our condition so where dollar in curly braces give the variable dynamic variable and in dynamic variable we are passing the particular query like price greater than 100 okay now here you can select the uh, output okay so particular database having the total six column one two three four five six okay so let me copy the book id in author title price author title price okay here select the type the like jdbc type as a worker for second also similar third also similar worker fourth would be same fifth record also same and then last it's worker okay after that uh, we are passing the variable value like output fields so first one is book id then author title price and publish date then price 
in published date in description ESCI okay then next step don't forget to mention the result field because this will this will specifies that how many numbers of record got selected this will change to integer sorry instead of integer change to string okay then adapter setting you can see input output in the here we can see the book id author title price and published it okay then here you can check the log fields and here you can mention your comment then save the demo after that we're going to create one service okay flow service then new flow service give the name as dynamic book data okay. we click on finish here we are taking Legino King one branch step branch as a condition so evaluate level set as a true and then take one sequence here we'll be passing some condition so in label uh, very first we need to identify like we need to give some input to your service so author then book id and then price okay. here i see okay correct then save and finish after that in sequence we are passing some condition so condition always written in percent sign so percent author percent equal to dollar null dollar null space and percent book id percent Here we did some mistake not equal to null one space and not equal to this space dollar null and book id book id not equal to dollar null okay. so here the statement is percent author not equal to dollar null and and percent book id in percent not equal to dollar null if this condition is satisfied then take one map step move right so here we specify our condition so uh, we already took one variable here no? this condition in dynamic dynamically we like mention the variable in where clause dollar in curly braces condition so those particular variable you can take here don't mistake condition we passing this condition on uh, this particular variable so percent price percent greater than 100 okay and don't forget to click on this particular option if you not select this option then price automatically printed like as is variable get printed the value not getting from the pipeline okay then click on okay after that save now here once it done then you know uh, our dynamic adapter service
and here you can see the condition it's a variable and maximize the input here condition match like map condition to condition and maximize the pipeline here the result field is there just copy and paste it here and now you can map all the fields like book id to book id then author to author title to title price to price publish date to publish date and description to description okay we done that after that save the pipeline like save this demo so here we take one branch as a condition we uh, put some condition here author not equal to dollar null and book not equal to uh, like book dollar uh, not equal to dollar null if this condition satisfied then get into map and here we are passing this condition like this statement in our condition variable and this is a dynamic variable those variables we pass in our adapter service okay now the thing is that we need to run this service so right click run as a flow service here author we gonna pass this particular value so those input we are passing which is available on our database if you are passing something else then uh, but obvious it getting an error okay so let me check the book id here book id is 109 and then price is 300 okay then okay after that you can see the output we are getting some error let me check select star from book fair greater than 100 something is missing here author not equal to dollar null and book id not equal to dollar null if this condition satisfied then get into map and uh, wait okay okay here we not pass the particular condition so uh, person price person greater than 100 if this condition satisfied then it will give some uh, specific data like we uh, selected all the fields if the condition satisfied then we are accessing all the data from database and uh, already we took one variable as a count so how many record we access uh, the count variable will taking care of okay so save the demo and check run as flow service okay so here you can see the result condition is 300 is greater than 100 is fine like it's uh, successfully executed so if the condition is true then we have our total two records okay 109 107 and we are accessing the those record from database okay count you can see here is a two and the sql statement you can see here the select star from book where price 300 is greater than 100 and we, we are accessing the two fields from a database okay so guys that's all about today's demonstration if you like this video then please subscribe like share and comment and if you have any query, any concern, please do let me know in the comment section. Uh, we will see you in our next workshop. Till the time, stay happy, stay connected and thank you so much.